Hello everyone, I am Shaimitro and you are watching WCS Expo. It is highly recommended that current affairs is very essential for competitive exam. So here we discuss today's most important current affairs. So do subscribe the channel to get daily updated current affairs. Today's important current affairs are Bangladesh signs deal with India. Bangladesh has signed a deal with the Serum Institute of India to buy 30 million doses of potential coronavirus vaccine being developed by AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca's experimental COVID-19 vaccine is seen as one of the most advanced candidates in the race against the novel coronavirus. 5 million doses of vaccine per month would be purchased through Bangladesh drug maker Veximo Pharmaceuticals. Next, Ramesh Lakshminarayan, new CIO of HDFC Bank. HDFC Bank has hired Ramesh Lakshminarayan as its next Chief Information Officer, CIO. The appointment comes nearly four months after the resignation of its then CIO Munish Mittal. Lakshminarayan joins from rating agency Priscilla, where he was serving as the Chief Technology and Information Officer. He has also had stints with Kotak Mahindra Bank, City Bank and ABN Amro Bank. Next, 40th Sark Finance Meeting held. RBI Governor Shokti Kanto Dash inaugurated the chair at the 40th meeting of the Sark Finance Governors Group on 4th November 2020. He highlighted the close partnership and cooperation among the member countries in jointly fighting the pandemic. Das is also the HAR person of the SARC Finance, which is a network of central bank governors and finance secretaries of the SARC region. Next, Wildlife Board set up in Jammu and Kashmir. The Jammu and Kashmir administration has constituted a 25-member Wildlife Board. It will advise it in the selection and management of areas to be declared as protected areas and in the formulation of policy for protection and conservation of wildlife and plants. Lieutenant Governor would be the chairman of the board among the other nine eminent members. Next, Rafael Nadal, fourth player to earn 1000 wins. Rafael Nadal has become only the fourth player to earn 1000 open era singles victories. Nadal achieved the milestone after securing a 4-6, 7-6, 5-6-4 6-4 win over Feliciano Lopez in the ongoing Paris Masters. With this win, he joined Jimmy Connors 1,274, Roger Federer 1,242 and Ivan Lendy 1,068 in the 1,000 win club. Next, World Tsunami Awareness Day 5th November. The World Tsunami Awareness Day is observed every year on November 5th with the aim to formulate strategies to save more lives in view of future disasters. The theme for 2020 is focused on Sendai 7 campaign which is aimed at reducing disaster losses. In the past 100 years, 58 tsunami events have caused over 2,60,000 fatalities or on an average 4,600 lives were lost per disaster. Next, Ivory Coast President wins third term. Ivory Coast President Alsan Outera, who has won a controversial third term in office in an election boycotted by the opposition. He took 94% of the vote, even winning 99% in some of his strongholds. Main opposition candidate Pascal Affin Jusen and Henry Conan Brady got 1% and 2% respectively, while a fourth candidate Kaudio Conan Bertin also got 2%. Next, toll free tele education helpline number. In Assam, the education department has launched a toll free tele education helpline number for government school students. That helpline number is to guide 6th to 10th standard student on subject matters and psychological aspects. The facility would be extended to other students too. 
the toll free number is 18003453578 it would work on all six days except sunday from 10 am to 3 pm next bangladesh us launch joint naval exercise the bangladesh and us navies launched the cooperation afloat readiness and training CARAT Bangladesh 2020 on 4th November 2020 it will expand relationship and broaden maritime awareness between the two countries the sea phase of the exercise will take place in the bay of bengal with ships from both countries the events are designated to enhance interoperability between the two navies next isro to launch art observation satellite the indian space research organization isro has scheduled the launch of the art observation state satellite eos01 on 7 november 2020 nine other customer satellite will also be carried into space by the workhorse launch vehicle pslv c49 the mission will be performed after the first launch pad attached at this one space center at sri harikota in southern andhra pradesh close to chennai next pinaka rocket system successfully test fired an advanced version of india's pinaka rocket system was successfully flight tested from integrated test range in chadipur of the coast of odisha a total of six rockets were launched in succession using pinaka indigenously developed by the defense research development organization drdo this advanced version has a longer range with reduced length compared to mk1 its earlier next first south asian to be elected to new york state assembly 38 year old indian american lawyer jennifer rajkumar has become the first south asian woman to be elected to the new york state assembly democrat rajkumar has defeated her republican rival giovanni rapana rajkumar will represent new york city in the new york state assembly representing the 38 assembly district which includes woodhaven richmond hill ozone park and glendale next zohran kame mamdani wins new york elections zohra kame mamdani the 29 year old son of indian american filmmaker meera nair and ugandian academician mahmud mamdani made history zohran has become one of the first south asian to win a seat in the new york state assembly zohran is an indian ugandan american politician housing counselor and hip hop artist so these are the most important current affairs of the day i hope it helps you lot please like this video share your love comment on this video and please please subscribe the channel